I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about materialized view in Cassandra. So about the materialized view, it is a database object that contains the output of a query. So let's understand by example. So at here, I'm using no SQL manager for Cassandra and here SQL editor. So first I'm going to create the table. So select that and execute. So executing statement. Now here after, so if you refresh at here, now here we can see T table it's created. If you take the cursor here you get the details. Now here after I am going to create materialized view. So at here execution time completed, no inner, no error. So at here S point is the key space and here T table is the table name. And here this all columns and primary key, id, name and j. So when you set add here id, name and j, so you should keep add here id is not null and name is not null and j is not null. So add here null primary key you can or it's not necessary to use is not null. Now here after there is a one folder. So if you replace that folder here you can see empty one at here materialized view it's a created. So create materialized view empty one and here this all queries. Now here after so see at here email. So email is the null primary key. At here but if I use at here email is not null then we can create at here materialized view. Now here after execute that. So no any error and here. Here you can see md2 it's a created and here take the cursor here you can see this all details here. Now here after the next is create materialized view md3 and here country. So country is the non-primary key and here but at this point I did not return country is not null. Now if I execute this query let's see what happens. So at here getting the masses cannot include more than one Non primary key contains the materialized field primary key. So see at here we cannot include more than one. So email is the non primary key at this place and your country is the non primary key. So more than one non primary key that we cannot include at this place. So at here primary key country email is not primary key but I said at this point but here I written email is not null. So this is the one condition. Now here after create materialize we empty for. So id and null. So add here I applied uh, add here id and name. So add here id and name is the primary key but zip is also primary key. So when you are creating materialize view so you should keep all the primary key. See at here when I execute here getting the error masses cannot create materialized be empty for without primary key. So zip is also primary key. Here you can see zip is also primary key. So you should keep zip after that you can create the materialized view. So at here I return zip is not null but at here I did not include zip is not zip at here. So that here getting the error masses. So this is the some condition to create the materialized view. So add here all primary key you should include and here you need to set add here or uh, is not null. So if you are using non-primary key so here you should uh, set add here email is not null email include here after that you can create and more than one non-primary key we cannot include. So this is some condition. Now here after here if you want to see add here record. So there is nothing inside there. Now here after I am going to insert some record inside T table. So add here generate command and here insert and clipboard. Now here you can see insert into T table. Now here I am going to insert this record. 
so we got inserted now here after let's go at this point and when i execute to this query so here one record that is inserted now here after when i copy this one copy and if you keep at here select so that i just created two matter as the empty one empty one now if you execute this query so at here when i execute select this all and here empty one so by executing this query so this query it was present on it is a percent inside at here t table the same thing it's come because at here i follow this at here select a start from t table this all this thing so that it's a display so all the content at here or table it's now come inside metro view so this is the definition it is a database object that contain output of a query so it's object that contain output of the query so at here this is the output of t table so it's display now here after if you want to display all metro view so you need to write select a start from system a schema and here if you execute so there are two matter as view that I just created MT1 and MT2 and here base table ID and here table name and here change keys and here key space. So all the detail you get by executing this query. System underscore schema dot view memory plus mean index interval all those things. Now there is a one thing. So if you create add a matrix view on the table T1, so when I try to delete this table, so let's create that. So add here, we cannot drop table when matrix view is still dependent. So this table add here dependent with two matrix view. So first you need to delete this two table. After that you can delete add here. Sorry, first you need to delete this two matrix view after that you can delete this table now if you want to delete the table right click on the table sorry if you want to delete the matrix view right click on the matrix view here here you can see generate and here draw you can use at here directly delete or you can use at here generate secure item so this is the query drop matrix view if not exit as point now if you execute this query so at here executing a statement one of one now here after let's request that so at here matter as we empty to drop or delete it so this is the simplest way we can create the matter as view on ESPs so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.